Hi, my name is Natasha Holland and today I would like to share with you our visit of uh, this beautiful city Brno in Czech Republic. Uh, the, the heavenly civilization, our group, been visiting Brno. The reason is to visit places of Moravian brothers. Last year we've been in Prague. After the steps of Moravian brothers, we've been in several places and we have been received anointing and angels from this amazing movement in the memory of those brothers. And, uh, you know, the cloud of witnesses. Those witnesses are near us always. The place in the Bible where they said, but you came close to a cloud of witnesses and innumerable number of angels. They are always near us. And those places of mighty people of God, of mighty men of God, who been walked before us, the portals of their glory are still there. So our conference, which we called uh, a celebration, uh, uh, purposely we call it a celebration, because we celebrate the glory of God, which is here on earth, as we know. Because when Jesus came, glory being delivered to everyone. It was always there, but not always we knew about it. People not always knew that God is near. When Jesus came, it's been opened up to all of us. Hallelujah. So we came to this beautiful land. And the atmosphere of this city was amazing. And it's all of us we met again. It seems to be that we never been separated. And of course we see each other on charts, we see each other on Zoom, and our relationship in heavenly civilization are very close. And Andre he delivers so much love through, this, uh, through his message. So this love is actually floating in us and between us uh, continuously. And uh, those very um, moments of when we meet each other, that's something which is uh, very, very precious for us. I meet with my friends and we've been in a hotel and it's a very beautiful hotel where we been sitting together, spend time together in breakfast, we were having meals together, we were enjoying this time and we were waiting for conference to begin. And uh, it was like a day before when we arrived, I, I arrived even at night time. And then the whole day I had uh, to spend together with my wonderful friends. And we walk around the city and the sun was shining and it was, everything was just so amazing. And I saw how my friends uh, who came uh, from Ukraine and they were enjoying every moment. They were so like, a ch like a children, you know, happy. Uh, I think that this is this is the love of the Father who would show them this, those precious moments when they could enjoy this communication, this fellowship together and enjoying even shops, enjoying uh, that we had this little pond but it was like a very shallow and uh, we were laughing and I said, this place we go and call um, our sea. And we walk on that sea and imagining ourselves like Jesus was walking on the top of the water on the sea. And, uh, and then after a few days we found that uh, this place called Bruno Sea. So I said, oh, it was just just the right <laughs> name. I said, uh, it seems I knew it. I said, I, I done it right. Yeah, I said the right word for that. Uh, it was like, a, even prophetically. <laughs> 
of course I'm joking hallelujah so we were splashing in that water we enjoying every moment and walking around the city and the conference began uh, next day at evening so we had another day to walk together and we meet more and more arrivals from our group celebrate our um, meeting our time together and we, the, each moment was very precious we were meeting together every evening uh, in a foyer in a hall where near reception we had, had a cup of tea, we put all food, whatever we had together and we make a little supper, uh, snacks. And we were uh, holding hands, praying and uh, releasing this flow of fire releasing the releasing the flow of the holy spirit which was floating like an electricity and it was felt even in, on a physical level we could experience that that flow and that um vibration which will come out from people and of course that uh, seems to be like we were practicing what we were receiving during the conference and uh, on those conferences I brought my paintings and um, I was enjoying the uh, reaction of people. They were releasing their nice words, releasing um, their compliments about paintings and paintings were, but paintings releasing anointing. <laughs> And of course, anointing, which was uh, during the conference, it was very strong. Uh, it was touching uh, everyone. And uh, we received Andre and Ola, they were praying for us. And uh, it was uh, powerful. It was very, very powerful. Anointing was um, touching people, people being fell in in uh, anointing on the floor and uh, many people been receiving healing the theme of the conference was about our bodies that our body are so capable and it's a um, temple you know that understanding of body as a temple is so widened for us the the temple of the holy spirit that body it's a son himself uh, that place in the bible when jesus saying touch me he was giving uh, offering to disciples to touch his body and he was saying that's me myself so in in that we understand that our body it's not just um a piece of meat <laughs> Yeah, it's not just a, um, something physical. Our body is much more. Our body is a temple and our body is something which is anointed and which is being filled with the Holy Spirit and uh, it's living spirit. It's, it, you can say that it's a substance of God who release himself through our body. He's not just in us and we are in God, but God himself took our body and became us. If I could say uh, in a more simple way, I, I, I'm trying to explain how I understand. So this understanding was widening and widening and understanding that our body are glorious and has capability to live forever, that we are immortal. In reality, uh, the temple, the third temple where um, it's talking about us, about our bodies, our body is, is that temple. Uh, it's uh, more magnificent, it's much more glorious than previous temples, says in the Bible. So if it's so magnificent and so glorious, so we cannot expect 
Even so, it's been done for years and years and years. People did not appreciate their bodies. But our body has ability to be immortal because God is immortal. And we are those who are born from God. You are gods. We are gods who are born from God and creators who are born from creators. That's just a little explanation so you would understand um, what we believe in our movement, which called Heavenly Civilization. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And because we believe so, we experience so many miracles, we experience in the on a physical level things which happening with our bodies. Our bodies are getting younger, um, we uh, experiencing vibration, electricity. Or on a, it's like an electricity of the Holy Spirit, which is floating through us. Uh, and as it says in the Bible, that the living waters will flow out of your belly, and that's what exactly happening. So when we hold each other hands, or when we simply embrace each other, this flow of anointing it's floating between us. This flow also. It's love of the Father. And this flow as a substance could be in any substance. It could be as a fire. It could be as a living water. It could be as wine. Like here on this painting, this painting called um, Drunk Cherry. Uh, why drunk? Because Bible says that do not drink wine but be filled with the Spirit. So Spirit has the same um, ability as wine. It makes you drunk. You can become drunk with the Spirit. And it's many, many verses in the Bible which actually confirm that. And if you de desire, you can search for yourself. Also in the Sons of Solomon, it says that your love is better than wine. It's one of the translations where it says your love is the best wine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In painting, actually what I do, I can get right inside my painting. I walk in it in a spirit. We learn to uh, contemplate visually. Uh, uh, heavenly civilization and what Andre, uh, our pastor and his wife Olga, what they teach us is contemplate. Contemplation visually and gazing visually at things. It's when, when you first look at something and you actually can uh, that's a godly imagination. That's ability which is a gift given to any every person, every human being. Hallelujah. And every human being is not just a human. <laughs> like, like Jesus being always uh, on the line, he was saying, I am a son of man. And at the same time, we know that he is a son of God. And the sin is the son of man and the son of God. It's one person. And that's with Jesus and the same with us. So this um, understanding being enlarging during our uh, Bruno conference, we've been learning about uh, that breathing, every person who breathes, they actually declaring the name of Yahweh, our God. Uh, so ever since we've been born, what we start doing, we were declaring the name of our God because it says in the Bible, everything which, which breathes, everyone who breathes, everything breathing, uh, praise the Lord. It says like this because that is true. When you breathe, actually, you speak in the, the name of the Lord. <gasps> Yahweh, and when you breathe out, you glorify His name. Every time you're doing this, even when you don't know, you're praising God and you're receiving His glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This was an amazing conference. There's so much flow, so much being uh, given to us. And in one point during this conference, 
I saw Olga Yukavishna when she was standing and simply worshipping inside her mind, she was worshipping God, I could see. And I saw this uh, uh, and contemplate how Father, and I saw him like in this painting, in this my painting, which called the life-giving spirit. I saw Father who was looking like that. He came to her and he took her face and he started kissing, showering with kisses her face. Face. That was a beautiful, beautiful picture. And in that moment I knew it's another thing which we practice that and it's ability of the spirit, ability of life-giving spirit. When you can be as any substance, as a fire, as I told before, light, and you can walk spiritually, you can walk in your contemplation, in that uh, in your vision in in that substance of God you can walk as a fire but you can walk as Jesus at the same time as we all one in Christ the whole body we all carrying each other inside us because you in Christ and you in me because Christ and I are one and you and Christ are one so as I came in my spirit in my spiritual visualization I came to Olga and I walk in her I wanted to feel what she feel I saw myself as her and I felt so much love for those people who I see I felt this enjoyment of the atmosphere and I it's even hard to explain of all feelings and feelings are important I know during my previous uh, belief it's been told to me that feelings are not important your body are not important the most important is what in the spirit but that's not true feelings are very very important and it's what we told and it's what Andre preach to us and that's what we experience when you experience feelings it's stuck with you forever you know your memory being filled with the spirits of love with this um, spirits of unity and at the same time i came near andre and and i wanted to walk in him and even so i knew that me uh, and andre are one and we are both in Christ and we are one as Christ hallelujah I walk in him and that I start experiencing what he and I saw with his eyes and then I start to see uh, that it's no longer Andre or me that's father standing and again I saw him like this and he was standing in that place on the stage and he was looking at people and he was releasing anointing, releasing healing, releasing love on people. People was falling in glory on the ground. They received deliverances. They were crying. They were laughing. They were simply enjoying some even screaming and uh, when something was coming out, out of them. Oh, we've been experiencing all that on the conference. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I also um, saw uh, at evenings we were walking uh, around this beautiful city and we enjoyed every moment together and we see this beautiful fountains, uh, Bruno fountains and that was so amazing. You can just sit down that's what we've been doing. Sometimes we were sitting on a bench, sometimes we were sitting right on the ground and looking at, at that screen. It was screen where the water falling in a different pattern and different colors. It's especially beautiful at night time. It was says at one point, Bruno give you a temperature, it give you all information and then it would start to move with beautiful movement and sometimes abstract. Mm, pattern sometimes any kind of different pattern and it's hardly ever repeat it, it takes a long time to see the similarity in it 
hallelujah and it's actually give a huge impression and here in the same place in the park it was young people who were dancing they had their own music and and it was classical dancing it was uh, so unusual to see young people dancing this kind of dancing and it's also left a great impression the architecture in this town um, Brno is also like in a Prague I like it's very very beautiful amazing architecture and we were simply enjoying everything the flowers uh, the smells the cafes with beautiful cakes <laughs> and we were buying for each other those tea and cakes and enjoying pancakes and it was good it was really really good it was a, such a fellowship of love and in one point uh, we walk into catholic um, castle uh, and we had a quite an amazing experience which um, which give me an understanding why why i am receiving all this and how i'm going to um, deliver what i receive or or share what i receive with others as we walk in this castle it was a catholic castle and um, the atmosphere um, inside was just touch us so much okay it was actually uh, not a castle it was a cathedral uh, what was inside it was uh, an amazing paintings and sculptures and as I walk and walk around the power of God would just fell on me on on my friend who was with me and um, we both start to pray we start to sing in tones and uh, we felt angels singing uh, and around we start to see again i'm saying that was a contemplative vision or, or godly imagination you can say we just saw those huge huge angels and i realized that behind each sculpture that sculpture represent there is a real angels there uh, it seems like a portal which deliver and this each angel is a portal as well and each person us we are portals what is portal portal is an open door and it's like Jacob when he was sleeping he saw a huge ladder and he saw a portal and he saw angels walking up and down on this ladder and that's what was happening with us when we were there as we sit down on a place where people usually pray it was hardly anybody in this place and I start to ask father and I said why are we here what is our mission and he started to say to me the thoughts start to come that we came to receive angels which are not at work and I realized the revelation came to me that as we take those angels, we as an open portal can receive angels in us and we can release angels out of us. And as we receive angels, I understood that uh, they were not simply receive them and leave this place with no angels. Those angels like multiply, they seems to... Um, yeah, this multiplication, you know, multiplication of angels. Uh, same is with um, life-giving spirit. You know, when, as you know, you life-giving spirit, you can multiplicate, you can multiplicate. Uh, and the same with angels. So I knew that angels, I'm taking angels in, with me to give them work, to give them a mission and at the same time I release angels and the angels I was releasing I knew there was uh, Moravian angels also I realized that there was like a um, war a fight between Catholics and Moravian movement uh, at that time and Moravian brothers they been spread across the earth but they've been highly persecuted by Catholic Church and I 
had the feeling inside and thoughts it seems like father saying to me it's also mission of peace mission of unity of all denomination and that mission is mission of son because each one of us is a son whether you male or female you son of god why because you represent jesus jesus walk by you through you and you are as jesus you can say that you are jesus on this earth he walk by you on this earth he touch people through you and by you as a whole Christian all together at the same same as a one person it's no matter whether you one by yourself come to this place you release Jesus there or whether you come as a huge big amount of people as a company of people all the same you release Jesus so I knew uh, at that moment and I had this great desire come to the altar and uh, release and break that anointing which I have and release anointing uh, on that person who going to stand on this altar, on a, on a priest, a Catholic priest who would come and um, would pray or deliver message from that place. I came and I started to see pictures. I saw many angels. I saw uh, cherubs um, who was uh, flying and uh, I saw those uh, cherubs who with six wings, those who were Bible talking about flying near the throne and they were fiery. They were flying, I saw the faces of the lion and eagle, um, a man, face of man, and the other face, it's a face of the ox. I saw this um, great uh, flying, they, they were on a very in a place where the ceiling, uh, and I knew that I am standing there in the name of Jesus. I knew that that's Jesus who breaking this anointing through me. I knew that was him and that's a, a privilege to every son of God. Take authority on this earth, walk to places and release anointing, release uh, healing, uh, heal this earth that's all belong to us. That's what we should do. Not wait that something come from the sky but do it in the name of the Lord and that's Father who using us you could say even better word the word as us not just using us but Father as us walking by us on this earth talking he is everything in everything through you on this earth because you and father are one believing that you and god are one it's mean um, being obedient to what father meant you to be or to who father meant you to be it's mean to take your authority uh, on the throne that's why why we came to this earth that's why we were born that's why we were in Christ before the foundation of this earth it's why we we were crucified with him it's why we, we die with him it's why we, we were resurrected with him so we went through all this to be him on this earth hallelujah and that's amazing and glorious and your submission to this calling that is that meekness which we are called to be and that's um, a great great um, privilege to be a son of God here on earth so the last day it was um, all about prosperity Andre was preaching and uh, that's understanding that when you are the son of God, the son of God and you are one, that all what father has, that's your inheritance. So everything was about it and at the end Andre was called us um, to the stage and he was praying for us. And 
when he pray he was re releasing one word one two words to each person and praying for them but people came Andre when Andre called us uh, it was those who were planning to move in their businesses or planning to to do a business it seems to be like continuation of our so of Solomon uh, course which we were been going through so uh, when he was walking and I said to myself um, I am not going to fall because well, it doesn't really need it because it's just a short prayer I just received what he would release to me and I was had all these thoughts in me and then I thought what well, interesting what was he is going to say to me and as he passed he touched me with and in such a power went out of him and he said millions and it was just like I felt and some something came out of me like um like so, like it's kind of blockage been in, inside I don't know it was just boom and it's open like a top from from a bottle you know and I fell somebody catch me and, and I start to laugh and I was laughing first laughing laughing then I start to cry and I was crying in joy uh, uh, crying and laughing and crying and it was all with en enjoyment of, of being released from something <laughs> and it was great <laughs> I think I received something and uh, I'm really glad it was happened because I was moving in uh, first time in my life I start to really walk in um, something to do with business of my paintings you know I start to sell prints and it start to go well and people want it and I felt that something start to at last moving forward in this area our, our last meeting was near the tower where Moravian brothers were held in prison and it was a very special meeting it was we were standing near it uh, we had this row of seats and quite uh, many people from outside came and the whole city was like at hand we could see the view was amazing and we had this celebration we were dancing we were celebrate that and realizing that we can do this freely but in the time of Moravian brothers they were prison been put in a prison and persecuted for worshiping God uh, in a way they felt is right hallelujah and we felt a presence of the Moravian brothers and the angels near us we knew that they were there uh, and they were celebrating that with us we were receiving everything we can receive from them they anointing and again I say that the angels were receiving them in, in much much more than even before when we were in Prague it was a very very special time and our musicians they are amazing they are beautiful all the songs were the anointed and we were really really enjoying ourselves and the weather was wonderful uh, it was sun shining even so before they said that it's going to be a storm and it's going to be rain but weather were working for us that was a great great time and very very special because of the place where we were and the smell when we were standing there the smell was amazing we could smell I know some girls were walking saying we can smell wine we can smell wine <laughs> and obviously that anointing but uh, uh, for me I smelled um, nature I smelled plants I smelled grass I smell forest uh, it was just all so the, the smell was very strong and that place beautiful smell and I believe that's anointing as well and then we had our um, trips to uh, special places of Moravian brothers and it was indeed 
a, a very special because everybody who I was asking later on what is your uh, greatest impressions of our trip and obviously we all love our Andre and Ole we love the way they deliver message we love their prayers we love the power we love the anointing we love that love which coming out of them we just love them we love each other and all this atmosphere it's a very special and amazing but also those trips is this kind of a great addition to all of it because uh, the places which we were visiting it was a very special places of Moravian brothers one place was in a deep forest so we were walking walking and walking and a forest in Czech Republic um, it's amazing it's such a beautiful beautiful nature with rivers beautiful rivers floating and the trees are, are high and it smells amazing and I was looking on the ground and I saw the stones and they seems to be uh, like gold in it uh, I don't know what kind of stone stones they are but they look like a gold and I said look guys we're walking on the gold <laughs> and we will start collecting those beautiful shiny stones on the sun they was just shining like gold uh, and two stones I give to Andre and Olga I said look that's gold <laughs> so I took one uh, as a memory with me and brought to England <laughs> so we were on one place where Andre was telling us a story about Moravian brides who were making a stories about this place they they doing uh, on purpose making those um, uh, rumors, rumors about that uh, it's um, very dangerous place that in this place you uh, you should not go and they did this on purpose um, and when somebody would come and they could hear someone walking from outside they would make it this uh, very um, scary um, animal uh, noises you know like a wolf or even somebody uh, they were roaring on purpose so people to get uh, so people can get scared and just walk away so nobody could find them so uh, all the stories we just put us so close in our uh, visualization uh, with Moravian brothers we could see them we could see them how they hiding we could see them how they were dedicating and how much love they had for the father it was all very very precious and uh, it was a ruins of tower uh, ruins of with those stones where they were hiding and we heard the stories from our um, friend and interpreter Nadia who was saying about how some of the families left their children because father told them to leave them for some time so they could save their life and children's life so they could be separated um, for some time and those people are guards who was supposed to find them they were looking after children <laughs> they were um, must be they had no choice but look after children and they've been waiting for parents for three years to come back to get their children so they can arrest them but somehow go to make the end of the story happy and the family re reunited but uh, children been looked after <laughs> so such a funny in a way and sad at the same time story uh, so we're walking and we had a, a nice uh, we've been getting together uh, in the cafes and restaurants and having a nice meals and one of the restaurants specifically I like it so much because it was on the side of the river we were really uh, sitting at the table and watching a flow of the river that was just so beautiful and uh, this uh, something like this I would remember I remember for for the whole my et eternity <laughs> so and uh, we've been uh, on the other trip we've been going to a cafe with the little beautiful cakes and it's you know those little things it just make your memory even more rich 
you remember this tea, you remember the atmosphere in a cafe, you remember the sweet voice of your, of your friend who was telling uh, her story and I share my stories and we become so closer and closer together and more and more in love with each other as a family of the heavenly civilization. Hallelujah. We've been visiting a Moravian uh, Museum of Moravian Brothers and heard so many stories how they've been spread across the whole earth, uh, different countries, even America and England and uh, Pre-Baltics and Scandinavia, Africa, just name it, every, every country, they were everywhere. And uh, I felt that heaven, it just came to me while I was there that the heavenly civilization we just pick up this flock of anointing we pick up this anointing and those angels and we continue to this mission to spread this good news but now good news of sonship good news of the love of the father and good news of the great authority and that fire of moravian brothers who became our fire fire of the heavenly civilization who would and already are spread across the whole earth because we have people from many different countries and we just spread them uh, it goes, uh, this news, this fire go to America, it came to England, it goes to Germany, it goes to many more places, Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan, Moldova, it goes to Italy, it goes to much, much more, you just name it, the whole countries uh, in Europe and more. Hallelujah, and it's going to be multiply and multiply. And I and I saw ourselves as Moravian brothers. We walk and we spread this fire as a lava covered the whole earth. Hallelujah, and I understood this is our mission. This is mission of peace. This is mission which declare there is no more denominations. This is a mission which declare that we hold everything and we do not lack in nothing. And we as the Father and the Son and life-giving Spirit walking across this earth and we give birth to those brothers, to, to those sons of God and we lift them up and we take them on a throne and see them in the Father and they receive straight away the authority and the reign as a Portugal son to be um, walk with the power and authority and ability which God give it to us. It's His ability of God to do what we must to do to create this Eden which is already here to release it's rather say release this Eden the third heaven on this earth which is Eden to do what we're supposed to do because we are seated above all heavens in Father and all angels at our command in our fellowship with them and at our mission who desire to walk with us, who desire to help us, who desire to do what we are doing now and more, who desire to do what Moravian brothers did. And our understanding of our bodies as immortal bodies, and our understanding as our bodies as a holy, and our body is glorified bodies, that's very very important in that mission and that's something which we are been uh, getting uh, when we were there in Bruno getting even wider this um, revelation this revelation it grows in us and this revelation which we deliver to other people hallelujah hallelujah
and of course time came and we were uh, say goodbye to each other not goodbye no it's not it's just a, a separation in a little separation which are not really truly separation because we are continue to see each other in our chats in zooms and we our communication are still going on very closely so obviously we are not separating we have so many photographs we have this uh, memories where of beautiful places and castles and towers of moravian brothers and those ruins where, where they were standing it's all we taken with us we took with us and one uh, very funny moment which i had when i was traveling on a bus and i was a little bit tired and fell asleep fell asleep and uh, as I was waking up my eyes were still closed and with my eyes closed I saw a person who was seems to be from the top looking at me from somewhere here looking at me and I saw his face and, and a beard change a beard and he was looking at me and it was just like a moment he looking at me and I'm looking at him and him he seems to looking at me and a question in his eyes like what is she doing he's he's really learning my face you know that's what I felt and this was just for the moment but next day when I went to a museum of Moravian brothers as I walk in you know I felt that I should see this person there and then I look at on the board and I see this portrait and I recognized that face only the face I saw was with the beard and there was no beard but it was the same man who was a missionary and he was in the village of my lived in the village of Moravian brothers and he caused of this um, uh, great awakening in that place hallelujah so now I am saying um, that I am taking that i receive this to myself and i'm taking to england just the same as many of us take this message take this movement take this um flow of the anointing of moravian brothers to spread across the earth just as they did that's our mission mission of love mission of peace mission of unity of the son of god mission of strong power and authority which son should do to take the place which father prepared for us to take the inheritance which father prepared for us hallelujah that's what we are doing here on earth and that's why we came here hallelujah and we see each other again and we meet again in a different lands we meet again in Turkey and we meet again uh, Czech Republic and we meet again in the different parts of this earth and even I believe we will meet again in England and in America. Hallelujah! <laughs>